So in this video, we're going to talk about how to make a car stop gently. Now, are you one of those drivers, whenever you come to a stop, your instructor's always going <laughs> like this? And yes, some instructors do over-exaggerate it, but if you feel any of this, then this video will benefit you. Now, when it comes to stopping, by stopping more gently will help in a few different ways. Number one, it's more comfortable for your passengers as well as you, but also it's safer because you're giving yourself a couple extra yards or meters, which will prevent or lessen the chance of somebody going into the back of you. Now, if we first of all talk about why we get this jolt, it's not actually to do with the brakes, it's to do with the weight balance of your vehicle. Now, when you're braking, the front of your car will dip, like in this video here. And then that's because of all of the mass and inertia being pushed to the front of your car. And that compresses the springs, so it squeezes them. Now, once the car has come to its stop, there is no more weight being pushed to the front suspension. So what happens is the front springs will now just pop up to their original position. And that's why you get this sort of rebound effect because the springs taken absorption. So what we need to do is imagine that our right foot, our brake, is the shock absorber. So when your springs would normally uncoil, you're doing that with your right foot. So you're taking away that impact. Now the best way to do that is imagine that you're going to stop slightly before where you're actually trying to stop. So you can see here, I want to stop by that zebra crossing but I've got a cone there and I'm actually gonna stop or try to stop at that cone, but then ease off. So the car then rolls to the zebra crossing under its own speed. Now you might have to reapply the brake again, especially if you're on a downhill, um, but it's very small movements at that point because you're already going very slow. So to show you that, and I'm on a private off-road track here as well. There's no one else on the track. Um, I'm at EXL in Harlow, which is a really good driving school based in the Essex area. Um, this is their private off-road track. And it's got zebra crossings and traffic lights and around the balance as well. So a good place to practice um, if you don't feel comfortable on the road. Um, also, I've met the instructors here and they're all really friendly. So it's definitely one place to check out. So. I'm going to come up to this zebra crossing and I'm going to do it with a bit of speed this time, okay? So I'm going to get to probably about 30. That's 30. And I'm going to be braking, clutch down, and then I just ease off. Reapply, ease off. So now I let the car come to its own stop. Like we said, if it feels like it's going to be moving too much, just put a tiny bit of brake pressure on to come to a complete stop. Now, yes, I've given myself time. I know what's going on. I know where I'm attempting to stop, but sometimes I don't always have that luck. And sometimes an emergency might just happen, but you can still ease off if it's a safer thing to do. So if you know you've got someone behind, you've got a meter till you crash, ease off. So your brakes, ease off. So you can see on that one, the ABS even kicked in slightly, but I didn't come to a sudden stop. And it's that absorption that makes all the difference. So I hope that video has helped. And as always, if you do have a comment, put a comment in the comment section below and I'll help as much as I can.